Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be making a DIY shower cleaning hack together, and you only need a few products, just the Dawn dish soap, some white vinegar, I'm using this little Pyrex measuring cup, and then I'm using these Scotch Bright soap dispensers. So you guys can pick these up anywhere. I originally did this video with Dollar Tree products so you could get everything for just a dollar at the Dollar Tree. But this time I went ahead and got it at the normal grocery store that I live by. So basically first things first, we're just going to open up the dispenser and this one opened that way, but the last one that I had opened a different way. So just bear with me. <laughs> this is a new process, even though I've done this several times before. Now I'm going to be grabbing my Dawn dish soap and I'm going to start filling up the dispenser with the dish soap. Now just a little tip, I like to do the dish soap first and then the distilled vinegar second. So if you do the vinegar first, it tends to leak through the sponge immediately. So I like to do the dish soap first and then the vinegar, which is why I'm doing it in this order. Just a little tip, you don't have to do it that way, but it might be a little bit messier if you do it the opposite way. So as you can see, I just finished putting the Dawn dish soap in there and now I'm going to be putting the vinegar in. It's so easy, you guys. If you have a funnel, it could be, you know, you don't need this little like measuring cup. So you could use it either way. Last time I did it on camera, I did it with a funnel but this works just as well. Now basically all you have to do is shake it up and <laughs> it's funny because I was trying to shake it and it wasn't really mixing. So I remembered that if you just turn it upside down, all of the soap and vinegar starts to mix together. So I just kind of flip it back and forth over and over and it all starts to mix and it doesn't usually come out, but um, you might get like some drips, but for the most part, it will stay in there. So I'm just gonna be making my second one. I sped this one up so that you don't have to watch me do it for forever. But um, a question that I get asked a lot is, do I have to use Dawn dish soap? Because I know some people are watching from different countries or places where they can't get a hold of Dawn dish soap or they don't like Dawn dish soap for some reason. And the answer is, I'm not sure. <laughs> so if you have that question, I'm sorry, I don't know the answer. I have never used a different dish soap, but I'm pretty sure that if you tried it, it would probably work just as well. Hey guys, okay, we're upstairs, and now that I have finished making them, I am gonna be scrubbing down our bathtubs and showers that we have in both the bathrooms in our rooms. But I wanted to say how excited I am that I'm remaking this video because I made this video years ago on my channel for the first time using Dollar Tree products only, which that is something to think about. You can get all of these items at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, so you could make these for $4 because you all you need is the soap, the vinegar, and then the two sponge thingies. So making this video changed my YouTube channel for forever. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to remake it because I need these for my house. I actually threw out the old ones when we moved and it's time to clean the showers because we've been here for about a month. So there is some buildup. They do need to be cleaned. I'm not cleaning like a white clean shower, but it's not like as bad as in my last video. If you never saw my last video, I'll have it linked down in the description for you to check out. It's only four minutes, so make sure you check that out too. So I'm just starting out by rinsing off the bathtub. I like to get everything wet first and then I'm just going to get the dispenser wet. And you can see right here that there is some dirt buildup and it needs to be scrubbed down real quick.
So now I am all done with cleaning off this bathtub and this is the final shot. It's so shiny. I seriously think that the vinegar just makes everything shine. So now we're going to be moving into our master bathroom and that is just a piece that we got off of Etsy recently that I like to put some of our like bathtub stuff on. So I love that thing. It's like a dream to have it. Um, if you're new here, we just moved into this house about a month ago, like I said earlier, and it is such a dream for us. We moved from a condo, like a two bedroom condo. And so now we have four bedrooms and we are absolutely in heaven just so happy with having more space i cannot even tell you guys how much of a game changer it's been for our family so anyways i'm going to speed it up and get this bathtub super clean into my life such a magic feeling when you tore down my walls i wish i could go back to right before you told me i try to change it all but look at us now we could have gone so far it hurts to realize Okay, so now that I'm done rinsing down the bathtub, I'm gonna be moving on to our shower, which honestly was pretty gross. I'm not gonna lie, for only being here for a little bit over a month, it was <laughs> kind of gross. And I didn't show it on camera. I don't know why I just forgot to take the camera off the tripod. So if you wanna see a nasty shower, make sure you check out the video in my description box because the last time I did this at my old condo in my past video, it is like such a big difference. And one of the things that I also did that I did not do in this video is I made a spray bottle of this solution. And that's something to think about for your bathtubs is if it's like really in bad shape to make the extra, um, the extra soap and vinegar to put it into a spray bottle and spray the shower wait for 20 minutes and then scrub it down and it will seriously cut all of that grime and like soap scum it will just make it it's like magic it's amazing thank you guys for watching another video with me don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you liked this video and also don't forget to subscribe if you're new here I post lots of cleaning videos, decorating videos, and vlogs, different kind of like motherhood lifestyle content. So if you like that kind of thing, make sure you stick around and hit the bell for notifications. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.